Shoulder and cut out sequence three. Step forward, long guard, grab, punch. Grab, step and punch. Back leg, step back, balance. Grab the front hand, protect yourself. Jab to the stomach, back leg, step back. And mimic the same movement, hip goes in. But knee, elbow, from here slide in, grab that head. Twist and turn one. Turn two. Knee, step forward all the way. Form, that's everything, push. Left leg step forward, high guard, toes up, right? Good. Grab, step, punch. Grab, step through, punch. Good. Then we draw everything back, back leg first. Then we're gonna lunge forward again. Your front hand guards yourself, pulling the hand in, throw the punch to the stomach. Good, nice and low. You draw back again. You're gonna mimic the, mimic the same punch. Looks like you're going to do the same thing. Then you pop up with the knee. Good, all right. Let's see how the combination works. Step up with the long guard bomb. Grab, punch. Grab, punch. Step back. Watch the front hand. Bam, there. Come back. Go in. Knee, elbow. After I elbow him, I make sure my hands are behind his ears, controlling his head. Then I do a neck twist. I'll twist the snake by moving my hip backwards this way. And again, when he's completely stretched out, I knee him in the head, in the chin again. Let's say I'm fighting Josh. Josh is big. He likes to push me, occupy more space, push me to the corner, right? Being a smaller guy, what I want to do is I want to keep him away from grabbing me because once we're wrestling, he has more advantage over me. He comes towards me, I throw a long guard at him. The long guy is one hand on his chin, so it takes his power away. My leg also pushes forward, so I can do a teeth if I wanted to, right? It does both. The leg can go to the knee, can go to the back knee, can go to him. I can turn sideways. The front guy can come in many forms, but we stick to the basic form because this basic form allows me to uh, change. So he can right, come in again, boom. From here, Going for the chin, I grab his hand. The moment I got hold of his hand, that's when I pull and control his entire body from the front leg on. So when I step down with my body weight, I'm gonna pull him and smack down that chin. Okay? So we're gonna do the sequence a bit faster. Come in, go for the, go for the face, bum. From here, I'm in the perfect position to grab him again and give him another punch. It doesn't matter which hand, but usually if I got hold of the front hand, I stay with the front hand. I grab this hand again, maybe just behind the elbow where I can control him. I step through and give him another punch to the face. So he's gonna eat pop. Bam, right? Bam. From here, I'm gonna pull myself back. When you move back, make sure you move back with the back leg. It is wrong to move back with the front leg. And you're completely unbalanced and you are vulnerable for all kinds of attack because your head is leaning forward. But if I move back with the back leg, I am very centered. I'm very balanced. Boom. That's a bad trade. I can hit him in the belly, but he, hit me, he hits me in the chin. It's a very bad trade for me. I don't want to do that. Boom. Okay. I'm stepping out. So the rear cross is useless. He can't hit me with that hand in that split second. And front hand is under my control. One more time. Boom. Okay. Nice and low, nice and solid. And I'm going to draw back again. This way, he is going to think I'm going to do exactly the same movement if I move exactly the same way. What happens when you get hit in the stomach? You cringe. Let's say I hit him this way. Look what he naturally, he naturally do. Your stomach is strong. Hit me hard in the stomach. <coughs> I go like this, this way. If I'm stretched out, it's going to hurt a lot. So if I want to hit, hit him in the stomach, I'll make his head pop up. Watch this. So if you relax a bit, right, it's like you're fighting, I think your head pop. Think your head pop, then boom. You will find this hurts a lot more than you uh, flex your stomach, right? Exactly the same thing I'm trying to make him do here is I go in, I throw him a hard check, boom! But hopefully close to the solar places where he hurts the most. I pop back, I do the same thing, right? He's going to flex the stomach. When he flex the stomach, his head goes down. That's when I follow up with a knee to the face. Okay? After I follow up the knee, 
I pop my hip back. That gives me the power to elbow him to the head. So one, go in, pump. Come back, the back leg. Looks like I'm doing the same thing. Going down, boom, boom. Then I'm gonna grab my opponent's head. Watch my hand, my hand turns. My leg turns, my hand turns at the same time. So, so if you stay where you are, it looks like this. My hand turns this way, my leg turns this way. Okay, stay with you. Again, hand turns, leg turns. Fun. If there's no one here, look like I'm dancing. But if I have an actual person in front of me, look at the effect of this turn. Turn. And my leg turns. Fun. That he's completely off balance. Knee. I go for Josh's solar places. Elbow, grab the head. Look at this turn. Turn here, turn, and turn. Bam. We're going to do the same exercise from a different angle so you can see both sides. Josh comes in, I do a long guard to the chin, grab the hand, step and punch using my momentum. Grab this hand, punch again. Step back, go for the second shot, bomb, come back, go in again, knee. Elbow, grab the head, spin, spin, bam, and push him away. Make sure you push him away though. Sometimes you need him in the chin. He still stands and fights. So make sure you push him away. Give yourself a, the, the room to breathe and observe, observe what he's doing. 